guys welcome back to another project o episode of project ozone 3 cap mode um before we get into it i'd like to ask you all to please like subscribe and leave any comments you have for me down in the description of course as usual and also check out all the links in the description which include a link to our twitch where we live stream every monday wednesday thursday and friday one o'clock eastern standard time we start and then we end whenever we want to uh also the twitter my twitter which is where we post when these new videos go live and when uh, we go live on twitch in addition to that, there's also the Discord link if you want to hang out with people who are doing mod packs like this. And yeah, that's other than that. Let's get into the video. Uh, so, in between this time and last time, of course, as usual, I did all the insanium crafting and pulled my hair out of my head to get the transmutation table. Let me check and make sure that we have all the quests done up and to the transmutation table. Uh, just in case. Also, I did this Lordic Void Crystal thing just because I was curious what it meant in the rewards tab. So now you can buy Lordic materials instead of having to craft them, which it's only 5 RAK each for mana infused ingots. I think that's cheaper than the time it takes me to make them. Oops. Uh, yeah, so we did that off camera just as a side note. Um, other than that, Tau, what did we get done, Tau? Oh, I made a 7th degree neutral steel in in working to build this. I needed to make 7th degree neutral steel. So, yeah, we have that unlocked. So, now that that is all collected up, let's go to Phi. I also made up to the blue matter off camera. Just working on advancing because i know the next big thing for us is going to be this wand of animation the wand of animation requires uh i think it's lime matter yes lime matter okay so let's get this crafted now oh it's not it's not letting me pull it there we go she seemed to have lagged for a second there cool So I want to set up a little area for this stuff, and I think this area right here works perfectly. Just so that we don't have it all right in the way. So now what we need to do is we need to take all of our at project E. We need to take all of our matters that we've made up until this point and put them in here to get us a nice chunk of EMC. And now we don't have enough to make another one of these. So let's burn them back in there. Okay. Another thing we want to do quickly is put some EMC in here. We have some stars on us, that should work. One star could probably make us enough. Right, because these are 139 and this is only 50, so that'll make it at least two. Perfect. And that should let us learn this. And of course we want to learn this leave that stored and get that so now our next steps we need to collect this and we need to work on getting some EMC to make a bunch more matter to get some lime matter essentially so that we can push on towards the wand of animation which is our next big thing we can do this soulbound talisman now, though I don't know that we really need to. This, uh, the text says it uses equivalent integration machines to link to players. You can bind it to yourself. Um, yeah. So we could do that and get into equivalent integration, but I don't think we really can do a lot of the equivalent integration stuff yet. Let me just check. Because I'm pretty sure this is equivalent integration. This chamber requires a transmutation tablet instead of the table, which requires the cyan matter, ultimate ingots, 
which require line matters, spiritual matrix. Nothing here is super hard. This line matter is going to be the bottleneck. And then these different kinds of quartz, I can make the relative spontaneous quartz. It's really, I need to make them once and just dupe them a bunch of times. These crystal matrixes will be a pain, but are doable. We should take all our draconic cores and put them through conic. Make our different tiers of draconic cores and put these in here as well to learn them so that we don't ever have to worry about that again. So yeah, that that is where we're at with that. And now I guess the next big thing we need to do is work on getting this dimension builder set up or well, uh, getting a dimension set up. I, by the way, I uh, infused all these off camera. Um, get a dimension set up that has some kind of very heavy EMC block. I'm thinking emeralds. And then we can use the automation system we were using before in the Kep on Kepler 29B or whatever to do um, to get some EMC. We can use that system on a planet that's intended for it to get those resources. Also, this needs reset. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah. So that's the plan for this episode is to essentially just start working towards this wand of animation. I want to get EMC set up and we're going to need to make some dimlets. <sighs> well, I want to, uh, we already have EMC. I want to get more EMC going. So we want an emerald, a block of emerald dimlet. Do we have... So we need a rarity five controller, I think is what those are called. And then we need the resource, which is just a block that collects the resource. So let's see how hard it is to make the block that collects the resource as a first note. So at RF tools, not TLs, tools. And I know exactly what the block looks like, but I can't find it. Is it on the next tab? Okay, material absorber, gravel, sand, dirt. Need a machine casing. Let's get that. We probably need four black plastic because that's usually what we need. Energized capacitor. We don't have any of those. Let's just quickly get. I'll start the capacitor. I want to get a bunch of these capacitors automated. Or not, uh, I mean, they are automated. I want to get them into this EMC so that we can just do them this way. So there's that one that just crafted up. All I want to do now is pull a stack, two stacks of those out. And now this should be smoother. I think we still need the four black plastic and I there's no way around plastic, yeah. Need to get more black plastic. Put some coal in there. It's all for the black plastic we needed. And do and a machine casing. Okay, frame okay next steps just let that craft it should take like two seconds it doesn't need to do anything super tedious okay this is, should go relatively quickly it should be almost done at this point <laughs> This is okay. Yeah, it's got pressure. Just making sure that had pressure. Make sure that the thing has power too. Yeah, plenty of power. All right. So I wish I also put this RAK away. 
Really, once we get this one, the only reason I'm doing this one-to-man animation first before anything else is to get into equivalent integration that, um, uh, the, the next tier up of this, this, um, transmission tablet, these ultimate ingots, making ultimate ingots is okay if we only need to make like nine ever if we need to constantly be making them is a problem so if i can just get ultimate ingots and item and make a block of ultimate ingots and animate it then we'll be all good so that's the goal got our machine frame to get this i just want to see before we another block and then gradually is over another block okay. so Probably the best way to do this. Does this need redstone signal? Uh, let's go to the. Oh, I need my air setup, don't I? Yeah. All right, Galacticraft. Galact. Let's do a full air tank and a little bit in another one. So the goal is to get, okay, that should be good enough for what we need to do. We just need to go there for a second or two. I don't even think we need it for Kepler, but it's just to be safe. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even use, I mean, they have like an atmosphere, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't even need it. Um, so let's just go find an emerald biome and absorb it, or just see if this works, kind of show how it works, and then I'll go off camera and I'll finish absorbing up all the emerald blocks we need. Okay, how much is that for filling it? Oh, it's actually, this one's not bad to fill. Sometimes these require absurd amounts of blocks. I think we're already 670. This is going to take it to 100, yep. is marked isn't it oh it's not marked on this client oh, i had to reinstall the mod pack that's why it's not marked i think it's on this hill Where the heck? oh it's right here okay i need to remark that asap Okay, and new way. Way out. Okay. It's all saved. And let's go and see about getting the last part of this that we need. So we craft this dimlet. We now have the 100% emerald block thing. We need a tier 5 controller. We have a bunch of tier 4s, but let's see what a tier 5 takes. Five, where are they at? It's in, uh, it's not tier, it's rarity. Five, how hard are these? Do you want to control so you can get this by deconstructing other demos in the workbench? In the same workbench, you can also use the items to make new demos. You can control circuit with the right rarity in order to make a demo with rarity. Okay, so we want to probably get. Is there a, these dimlets? I know I can get dimlets from these. I just don't remember how these dimlet parcels. I'm gonna go over here and open this. I want to be close to where I'm gonna. I think we just got some rarity fives in that, so that's sweet. Not everything. Control circuit rarity five, sweet. There is our emerald dimlet. And now I'm gonna have to cut so that I can go get some stuff together to build the I have the dimlet that's going to be the most confusing or was the most confusing dimlet 
to get the rest of the dimlets, I'll just have to go get, or I'll have to figure out what dimlets we need to make the proper dimension, and then I'll get them. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit when I have that all figured out. So yep, here we. Hey guys, welcome back. So I now, I've tried this twice now, so that's what I'm saying. And now, have hopefully everything I should need to make this dimension. So we need the biome, uh, the controller dimlet single. Biome Dimlet Planes Terrain Terrain Dimlet None Okay, maybe that Okay, let me quickly So we, I'm just checking with a guide that I was looking at. Now we need our material dimlet. And then our terrain dimlet. And then I'm pretty sure the other two, it doesn't matter the order of. Yeah, okay. So now we need to store it. Creation cost, and then it requires 100,000 RF a tick. So, off camera. I did upgrade our reactor. How much is this producing a tick? 114. So can it power it? Uh, 100,000 RF a tick. How many ticks does the creation co tick cost? 20. Uh, I think we have enough RF in here for that many. T oh, this is empty. Hmm. Well, we're going to try this. If this is too much power, then we can always... Okay. So it seems to be working slowly. Once it realizes it, hopefully it will go back down in cost. I hope. <laughs> slowly ticking up here. I was kind of concerned about power costs here, but I was hoping that we would avoid them. Uh, I can make this bigger. All of this stuff is pretty much EMCable. This is getting that pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, so let's see if this realizes. If we're going to be able to watch it realize. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I don't know if we can keep this thing maintained. Just a little bit concerned in general. I know it's filling up our uh, quantum entangler porter network right now. So there is that that is adding to the stress and strain, but hopefully that's not a problem. So while we're waiting on that, is there anything else we wanna work on at the moment? Don't think so. So I'm going to let this dimension real, oh, oh isn't there is, there is one thing we wanna work on. We need to make sure we have all of the stuff together that we need for this. Um, and then we need an entangle porter, which by the way, uh, these quantum entangle porters that I keep making, well, I don't even need to make anymore, are EMCable. So yeah, we have as many as we want now, pretty much, as long as we have the EMC for it, which we usually do. All right, this thing is getting close to realize, but I will bring you guys back when it is actually realized so you don't have to sit and watch, and then we'll see if this is going to be something that's feasible or if we're going to have to run the reactor pretty much nonstop to keep it realized. I don't know for sure, but we will see. Hopefully this thing will start ticking up. That's a hope, at least. All right, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a second when this thing is fully realized, so be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, oh, it is loading up with power now. Sweet. Okay, so it is remaining charged, which is a miracle in this pack because I was scared that it was going to be an absurd amount of power. And 100,000 RF a tick is a pretty substantial amount of power. I don't think we're going to start going up in power anytime soon. We're still filling the quantum entangle porter network, though, so, yeah, there's that. Um, but, yeah, this is slowly... This slowly gained power back up to pretty much about its max after it 100% loaded the world. 
I do have one of the safety things so that I can uh, DTFO if something happens. I do want to get pedestal. If we can craft up two of these, that would be ideal. I want to get just a quick escape mechanism. Draconic, two of these if we can. I just want a quick way in and out in the case that this doesn't work. So I want one set to here. I'm going to throw this over here. And that's going to hold the one that's actually in there. We should probably mark it just a sign because I don't want to accidentally click it if it's unloaded. Emeralds, that's a good name. All right. So now let's go see what this dimension looks like. Let's check the power one last time. Seems stable. Or as stable as it's going to get. This seems about as stable as it's going to get for the moment. This is still charging up. I think it's still charging up, right? Yeah, it's still charging up. Okay, cool. And... Whew. Whew. Let's hope. Uh, yeah, it's a night time in the dimension, which I guess isn't ideal, but... We want to mark our way out. New way out. Can I sleep in these dimensions? Okay. And sleep. Sweet. Okay, let's get it to daytime just so we don't have to do with this anymore. Also, it seems like fluid cows are spawning because it's a plains dimension. A little bit concerned by the fact that it's still frozen. Let's throw this dislocator on a pedestal. Way out. Right, and I need to clear my inventory out a little bit. I think what we're going to do is just build a little wall base. Good lord, guys. Cool it. off wand No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. All right. Now let's try and set the system up in here. Oh yeah, it's gonna run out of power instantly because I forgot to plug this in, and then I want and I wanna light these up so that we can actually that and we need that. This set to this, and the power set auto eject on, and set all these to outputs. Okay.
Okay, and this will perpetually make emerald blocks for us. And that's a pretty sweet way to end off an episode. Perpetual emerald block machine. Or pretty much n pretty near perpetual. I mean, it won't run forever. Eventually it will run out of power. Or not run out of power, but it'll run out of emerald blocks to dig out. But yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Make sure that uh, you have a good day. And uh, yeah. Ending the episode on a sunrise over an emerald field. Beautiful. All right, guys. Have a good day once again. Hopefully these skeletons will stop shooting at me. Uh, <laughs> yep. So have a good day. See you all later. Goodbye. Still here? You guys can head out. You're free to go. Come on, guys. You got to get out of here. Go on.